So welcome back everybody. My name's Andrew and you're watching the Kelly's Country Life. If this is your first time visiting the channel. Thanks so much for stopping by. So we're going to make today's video way shorter than the last videos have been. We're not going to go over everything. But to recap, if you're new and stumbling across this video, this is one of many in a series I suggest going back and watching. But long story short, being out here in the middle of nowhere, I had no option to get home internet, good, you know, fast, reliable home internet. No DSL, no fiber, nothing. Stayed on a Starlink wait list for over a year, never got approved uh, to get my package sent out. So I started looking for other options and discovered cellular internet routers. Not your little hotspots, not hotspot off a of phone, but routers specifically designed to take cellular SIM cards, process uh, that cellular signal, send it out via Wi-Fi, just like a home router, and give you true reliable home internet. So up until this point, we've been testing different types of routers, different plans, and recently we've made some awesome discoveries. I'm talking unlimited internet plans from 40 to $70 a month, depending on the carrier that you're gonna go with. And recently I used a new style router and a T-Mobile plan. You can use AT&T or Verizon and put up a new set of antennas on the roof. That's the beauty about cellular routers. They can take, you can use them as is, or you can add external amplified antennas to them. That's what today's video is about. Mount on the outside of your home and your speed, at least in my uh, particular instance, increases dramatically. So I'm getting, excellent download speeds and amazing upload speeds, which is really helping me with social media content, or if you're working from home and maybe doing Microsoft Teams, Zoom, things such as that, gaming, where upload is really important. So I asked a company called Waveform. In our original video, I purchased Waveform antennas off of Amazon and uh, had excellent luck with them. The company seen that video, we started working together. They sent me out a newer style set of antennas, which we installed in the last video. I seen a major increase in speed. And then a lot of y'all asked about what's called a panel style antenna. This is a completely new style. I have yet to install one of these at all in this cellular internet series. So that's what today's about. I like that it's already smaller, compact, and just overall looks better than the other style. We'll go over some pros and cons once we get outside and start swapping these out because the other style does have some positives over the panel and vice versa. The panel has some positives over the other style as well. So before we get started, let's do a quick speed test just to see where we're at and see if we lose speed with this style antenna or pick up or gain any. So your speeds are gonna vary based on your cellular tower, your provider, lots of different uh, factors. And different times of day affects my speed too. In the last video, I was getting around 70 to 75 megabits a second down, which is more than fast enough to take care of any of our streaming. And I was getting 80 up. But as you can see, it's a little different, different times of day. So let's run this test again. That test I ran quite a while ago and see if we have gained or lost any speed. So it looks like we have picked up a little. See, we're bumping 70 right now on download, 72, that's awesome. That is a uh, night and day difference from what I used to get. Y'all, I used to hotspot off of a phone and I got one to three megabits a second down and practically four to five up on a good day. All right, so here is the information. Excellent, very, this is normal results for me. So 74 megabits a second down. Uh, that's just a night and day difference. Puts a smile on my face seeing that. I can stream any kind of content, multiple devices, TVs, whatever, no issues on that speed at all. And upload while down from what I usually see in the 80 range, that's, a, that's common. Different types of day, different loads on the tower, it swings. 66 megabits a second upload is amazing. Most people can never come close to that even with DSL or, or even Starlink, uh, lots of other cases. So this is on the low end. Usually I'm up around 80. Upload has just been amazing with this. And for people wanting to know about latency, it's rather good being it's cellular. 45 on idle, 132 on down, 134 on up. That's been very consistent here lately. So if you're gaming and curious about this, you'll have to go research is a 134 latency on your upload good enough for gaming. I've heard some people say that is. Okay, so here we are up in my attic. I wanna show you this device. Um, disregard some of this other stuff. I've been testing multiple devices. And FYI, I typically do not have two devices powered up whenever I do my final testing and setting up. Uh, just in case there's any cancellation effect. 
But this is the particular router that I'm currently running from a company called NetBuddy. I'll have the link down in the description. Y'all have seen me test a lot from different uh, people. No matter what I've tested, they've all been night and day better than your typical hotspot devices or a cell phone. Just dramatic improvements. This happens to be a 5G device, but it will also uh, downscale to 4G LTE, which is typically what you're going to find out in the country. And trust me, that is still plenty fast enough speeds i'm pretty sure i'm constantly staying on 4g with this device anyways even though 5g is lit up <clears throat> but here is how it is typically you can see on the back side here these are my wires going to outside antennas normally it'll come set up with this style antennas all across the back and you can run the box as is make it portable put it in an rv whatever you want but the beauty of these types of routers is these antennas unscrew off the back side. This is the cellular side. These are your Wi-Fi antennas, by the way. And you can hook up to a cable that runs outside to our amplified antennas. So anytime I'll go outside and start disconnecting, I power down my devices. That's important. It's something you want to do. You want to be outside in front of an amplified antenna for one thing because, well, it's putting off, you know, RF frequencies. But two, you don't want to be disconnecting or reconnecting electronic devices while it's powered up and plugged in. All right. So as you can see, we are up here at the peak of my roof and I want to show you my current setup and explain the differences real quick so you can uh, maybe make the proper decision on the antenna that you need. So never mind what's going on here. I left all this loose last time because I knew I was going to be running this test. But this is a four four by four Mimo antenna set up right here. And these are highly directional antennas. Sometimes you hear them referred to as Yagi uh, antennas, Y-A-G-I, and they get other different names as well. But because they're highly directional and these are also a higher gain and more amplified antenna. So long story short, in theory, and I'm gonna kind of regurgitate some stuff that one of the representatives from Waveform told me here. So if you are willing to spend the time to properly aim these, you've got to know exactly where the tower is that's servicing whatever SIM card and cellular uh, plan that you have, and there's ways to find that. There's, there's links I'll put down in the description for cell tower location. We've covered all that in the past video. But if you are willing to spend the time to point these, and you need all four pointed toward the same direction. Keep in mind, you may have to go up, down, and you've definitely got to swing left and right. Uh, and we're talking 360 degrees here. That's why it's important to know where your tower is so you can know where to start focusing. These have a greater chance of giving you more amplification, but they require more effort on your part. So here's some other stuff to think about. When you're dealing with high vegetation, like we are here in Florida, buildings, things like that, the RF signal, is easily disrupted and can actually bounce off of other things, including vegetation. Vegetation actually really disrupts uh, those signals. So here is my understanding. This panel antenna down here, by the way, it's also a four by four setup. You can see it's a much smaller antenna, but it technically has four antennas on the inside. That's why you see four wires. So it's this, but on a more scaled down version. So it's my understanding that those panel antennas are actually really good at picking up deflected signal. These are really good for directional. So if you happen to be in a location to where you have a mostly clear line inside of a tower, or if you're blessed and you can see it, but maybe it's 10 miles away, well, you can't see that, but say you're in Oklahoma or somewhere and it's just really clear shot, this is the style antenna you really need to get and spend the time properly aiming. This is gonna get you the best signal. But if you're in a situation like us, where there is tons of deflection and stuff in the way, I am hearing these panel antennas may work a little better because they can literally pick up signal that's being bounced all around. Sometimes directly aiming at the tower is not your best bet for signal, especially in situations such as ours. So I really don't know what to expect today. The panel antennas are less amplified. Technically, according to all the, the specs, uh, they have less of a chance of giving me better signal. But then when you look at the way my signal's being disrupted everywhere, they potentially have a better chance of collecting more signal to this, even though they're less amplified and giving me better uh, output and receiving. Hopefully that makes sense. All right, so I'm about to pull all this down. Boy, this has been a ton of testing up to this point. I hate to move these because I'm getting such good signal. And here's the way we're going to do this test. I know the tower I'm needing to get my signal off of is right over here because I looked it up on one of the uh, sites 
that's down in the description I'll give you. And we're gonna aim the panel antenna roughly the same direction, play with it just a little, and I'm gonna log into my router, look at the signal strength and settings, and run a few speed tests. And then I'll meet y'all back. All right, so here is the panel antenna installed. I've still got a little bit of tidying up to do, tucking some wires. So I've spent some time out here. I have spun all the way this direction, back this direction, and pointed almost the same direction as the uh, other antennas were. Seems to be my best signal. So here is a key. Log into your router settings. It'll be an IP address like 192 point whatever. That'll come in the manual of whatever router that you buy. And in the uh, cellular section of that, you'll see signal strength uh, numbers like RSRQ and then you'll see signal noise ratio. Some will actually have a percentage for signal strength. That's what you check. So you make a little adjustment on the antenna and you go check those numbers and Google them to see because some are minus numbers and the lower is the better. Some positive and higher is better. So it's a little bit of a time consuming process, but not really. You want to get those dialed in, and then you can run you a speed test and see if you're where you think you should be. All right, so before we run aside and do a quick speed test, I do want to say, man, oh man, this panel antenna is a lot smaller than I was thinking, and sure looks better. Now, with that said, yes, there's still antennas and wires hanging off the side of my house, but I don't care. I need some internet, y'all, however I can get it. Really don't care. But I will say this panel antenna looks better. It only requires one mount versus four, it's easier to aim because it's a single antenna versus four individual antennas. Did I get less signal strength? Did I get better? Um, let's go find out. Okay, so here we are, off to the races with another speed test. Latency looks really good. Watch the speed here. Similar, slightly less, but keep in mind time of day makes a difference. Actually, it's going right on Oh, it's about to hit that 70, there's 70. So right in line with what we got with the other antennas. I'll take it. Now upload, well, I'm definitely seeing a drop there. Now with that said, 54 on the upload right there is amazing, 55. Most people will never get that no matter what they're hooked up to. Okay, so I'm connected to the same server. A lot of people constantly bring that up. Download, almost identical, upload, a little less, but again, could be the time of day. We're, we're talking a completely different time now when I run the test. Here's your latency numbers, idle, awesome. Um, download, upload, very, very similar. Okay, so interesting results. I've been testing for quite a while, by the way, moving the antenna around. Download, that's about what I've been seeing. I did see upload slightly higher. So, long story short, even though that panel antenna has less gain, less amplification, um, I'm getting similar results, slightly less on the upload, but you can't complain. So now I've got information out to you if you've watched the older video or even this one on which antenna may be best for you. Your situation is gonna be completely different. Don't forget the takeaways. The much more directional four antennas, the Yagi antennas are gonna, are definitely probably gonna be better for you if you have a clear line of sight to a tower or not many obstructions, but you have to spend the time aiming each individual one or really dialing them in, but they're a higher gain antenna. So theoretically, the potential is there for you to get greater signal strength. Now the panel antenna, smaller, single antenna, easier to aim, less to fool around with. And in my opinion, it looks a little better hanging off the end of the house, but lower gain should help and improve in areas with high reflection of signal, lots of stuff in the way. But as you can see today, I'm getting almost identical download speed. So let's talk download because that's what most people are interested in, especially for streaming TV and social media and things like that. So getting almost identical results here. So I would say they cost the same, I do believe. I'll put the links down in the description for both. You can pick them up on Amazon. Excellent company to do with excellent quality materials. I've been pleased. Don't forget the original set I bought with my own money. I, the company had no idea who I was and I still have that original set. So hopefully that gave you the information there to make your decision. Uh, I was actually expecting, I didn't really know what to expect. I was thinking the panel antenna could be a lot worse because it's lower gain, but then I was wondering if it may actually be slightly better because of all the trees and reflection that I have. I wasn't expecting them to be almost identical. So I guess that's a good thing. 
So real quick before we close this out, uh, the last video I posted, I am going with a new company now, trying their routers out and trying their plans. And uh, they're anywhere from 40 to $70 a month, depending on if you're going with T-Mobile, Verizon, or AT&T. A lot of y'all have ordered that. I've received some very positive comments back from people. Some of y'all talked about getting, one person even mentioned getting 120 megs down is what they're getting on their system right now, running the same setup as me. So again, your tower and your situation is gonna vary. Some of y'all are gonna get worse speeds than this. Some of y'all are already getting better. And some of y'all are on the fence. I sent some hesitation there because, well, most people know the big national carriers and don't really know the third parties. And y'all been asking me, how's my system running? All I can tell you is I've had zero issues. I'm getting consistent speeds. I've seen no throttling. I've had no issues streaming Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, doing social media content on Facebook and YouTube. None of that, no slowdowns, no nothing. I haven't been disconnected or, or anything like that. Had to you know get a new SIM, none of that stuff. So if you're being hesitant, while I've only been testing these, what, probably a month or five weeks now, just letting you know I've experienced none of that. And I'll continue to update you um, as I run this home internet and let you know if I have any issues or if I don't. I have no allegiance to nobody here. At the end of the day, I want good, reliable internet, and I know that y'all do too. So I thought I'd put that out there because I've had a lot of people saying, you know, I'm really on the fence, really thinking about ordering this system, but just not sure. Well, I can let you know, as of right now, over a month in, zero issues, and I am more than pleased with these internet speeds. Keep in mind for the people that's just watching this, we're not talking fiber speeds here. We're talking a house that's out in the middle of nowhere and has no other option for internet. These speeds are awesome, especially going from a phone that was getting me about one to three megs down. Now I'm consistently hitting 70 megs down. Like it's just, it's just life changing for what I'm able to do, especially working from home. And the kicker on top of that is <laughs> $39.99 a month because T-Mobile happens to work out here. So that's uh, what NetBuddy's plan runs. $40 a month unlimited. Uh, if you have Verizon or AT&T, $70 a month. I'll put a link down in the description too if you want to go check out their routers. And then the description also will have these antennas since that's what this video is mostly about. Okay, hopefully that answered your question. A bunch of y'all asked about the panel antenna. I like it. I think it looks good. It's much easier to set up and aim. However, take that with a grain of salt. The other antennas may very well be better for your particular situation. I just gave you the information there to make your decision. Catch you on the next video.